Hi guys, it's the 20th of September and we're back with this week's Minerva video. As you can tell, she's at Fort Atlas and just over to the right here. And I'm pretty sure she's got a power armor you're not going to want to miss out on. Let's have a look at the list. Asylum Light, Crusader Pistol, meets Meatbag Stash Box and of course down here, T65, the full set. So, without further ado, let's have a look at all these items that she's got. Pretty basic to be honest with you, like the 10mm pistol that you get in the game, but does have a lot of mods. It's got a nice Brotherhood of Steel symbol on the side there that you can see. But other than that, you can change it to like 5.56 bullets, do the usual mags and barrel extensions, etc. It's nothing great. In all honesty, you would probably never use it. So it's nice to have if you, you know, short on weapons, but nah, leave it, guys. Today's featured outfit is the Camden Park jumpsuit. Currently in the Atom Store on offer for 500 atoms. It's normally quite a pricey one, this, and to be fair, doesn't go into the Atom Store very often. So it's always one to snap up. I do feel it's better suited to mannequins and displays rather than the actual individual wearing it because that great logo that's on the back there is going to be completely hidden by a backpack or jetpack, etc., which is a big shame. The front logo is nice, and you've also got the Camden Park detailing across the top of the pocket. Really nice outfit, but maybe better for display. Very rare, guys. On the other side there, just briefly, this is the new Chinese communist outfit that's currently in the uh, store at the moment. Just thought of Pop that on to give you an idea if you're in an RM before it goes out of the store. Lots of detailing, ammo belts, buckles, clips, etc. You know, the officially wrapped trousers there that's sort of a classic look for these. Nice cap, mask, and also the backpack that goes with this with a big red star on it. Quite a nice look, a bit controversial maybe, but uh, you know, matching Pit Boy as well. Pretty good if you're going to do a themed camp or such like. Okay, let's move on. Want a tank of a power armor? The T-65, that fits the build perfectly. It's highly regarded as probably the very best one in the game. This one is generally tougher than Strangler. It's tougher than XO-1. It is a decent power armor. If you haven't got this power armor, I really would snap these plans up. You've got Guild of Antiquities paint on the right there and Atomic Onslaught on Jax's power armor on the left there. Yes, including with the pose but still it does show the colors off and all the different features of it so really good bit of kit i'm not going to show you specs guys because it would vary greatly depending on whether you're running a vanguard's one or an aristocrat's one or whatever you go for let's move on to two other accessories that she's selling one is the asylum light that is hung in an interesting place thank you for jacks for that particular one asylum light quite nice sort of antiquated type lighting and of course the meat box stash there um, no real animation or anything with this one it just looks rather funky and it's pretty good for display purposes maybe so now you've seen them all guys it is basically time to dig deep and get that gold bullion i'm sure you've all been running around like crazy doing the mole miner event and while well, having varying looks, shall we say. It's certainly been a challenge this time, and personally I've found it much, much easier to just buy the pails and craft them and get the rewards from them. The ones that drop, not been too great. Um, in other news, we have double XP coming up, and that is next weekend. So you might want to log in and uh, get yourself some nice double XP, get leveled up there a bit. But um, for this week, that is it. It's a quick one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.